Okay, interesting. Our next uh, city of Salinas council member, uh, Wes White, is arriving. Most of the protests yeah, centered uh, the huh? some reading material for you. Oh, fantastic. Which yeah. has been the same. Yeah. Go, yeah. Nothing's really changed, huh? No. There's a little bit of protest down that way, too. Yeah, they've been hanging out at the women's. Keep the bathrooms open for public use. Keep the bathrooms open for public use. Keep the bathrooms open for public use. Public use. Discrimination stinks. Discrimination stinks. Discrimination stinks. Discrimination stinks. Discrimination stinks. Discrimination stinks. Nice. Needless I say, who are you? Oh, we got the door open. Oh, wow. And some one lady we had to, to use the bathroom, but otherwise we wouldn't be able to use it. Filming the, the open bathrooms in there. I mean, the fact that they're open is fine. Anyone, it's a little creepy. Anywhere in the city inside. should be well, able to find I'm, it. I'm sure that if someone went in, we, we, we'd, we'd let them shut the door there open, you right? Right, well, probably. Yeah. See, it probably seems reasonable. reasonable. See, like, like, point, right? like there, there you go. You probably want to, you probably want to allow the, the the ladies some privacy, maybe. Ladies, should we close the doors for privacy? They didn't see a lady just went in. Would you yeah. like us to close the door for privacy? Okay. Almost thought she said she liked your your chanting. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so you got guys on one side and girls on the other. Yeah, the Never the train show me. Discrimination stinks. Keep the bathrooms open. The pooey emoji gets a lot. With dignity. Keep the bathrooms open. Because if yes. not, I might have to Please. go use the bush or something. And that's God forbid, I don't want to. Yeah. Health and safety problem. Health, that's a health and safety issue we should all be concerned with. Keep the bathrooms open. open. I know, because what if I had to use like a leaf or something to wipe with? What if it was a poison oak leaf? Yeah, it was leaky metal. Ah! I'm going to hug you for the bathroom. Okay. For emergencies. <laughs> we should do the little theatrical. Where you accidentally had to go into the bush and you grabbed the wrong leaf. How much does it cost to, to rent a room here? $30. Yeah, but the cheapest I think is 35 bucks an hour. And you could they have an hour of the rate, so you can also down to 25 or something. Unless you're going to stay with it. <coughs> so we can yeah, they used to have the board meeting meetings here until we, yeah, uh, right. in protest, decided to move over to RCMV. So we don't have our board meetings here anymore. Okay, because, we're, because, we're because of the bathroom is closed. And they're just uh, generally homeless yeah. and friendly. Right. Yeah. So, Ro Robert, this is uh, uh, Rita. She's uh, president of S Selena Solitary. What am I thinking? Sorry, Rita. You, you're in disguise here. You look like an unhomeless. I barely recognize you. I can't yeah. very so you're coming over from uh, Salinas. Rita. Any reports from Salinas? What's going on there? Um, right now we're dealing with them having to um, have people leave the park where they were camping at and putting them and letting them, where should I say, they're allowing them to sleep on the sidewalk. Can you feel that? What, are you people should be happy with being allowed to sleep on the sidewalk other than being in a tent where it's safe. The concrete pillow. Yeah, you know. Has anyone one step to close to the curb, yet? you know. <laughs> Has anyone tried to do a tent and been told they couldn't do a tent on the sidewalk? Um, they're being told not to do tents anywhere. And it's not on Sherwood property. It's at, at a church, um, down an alley. They're just, they don't want people no around. No tents at all. Huh? Rodeo's here. Mm -hmm. Rodeo's in Salinas, so. So no, no I told them to throw some cowboy boots on a cowboy hat and see if you can get away with it. There you they go. are. Oh, no, what if, what no if, what if they wore a cowboy boots? Cowboy Excuse hat. me? What if they wore a cowboy hat? Well, that's what I'm saying. I tell people, put a hat on, some boots, and see if you can blend in and see if it'll work. You know? <laughs> and have a little money in your pocket, you know? Because <laughs> that's what it basically is. We have no money, they do. 
see you dress up in costume like you're a prop as a business yeah. call for what business you're sleeping in front of. Yeah, so, so a lot of people don't like, like to do that, so it's really happy me. To help <laughs> that business, right? Like they used to hold the signs or with people dancing in front of mm -hmm. the place to mm -hmm. say we're having a, a sale of our products. <laughs> yep, could do that with that sign. So I guess you've already taken a look at the, uh, the open women's bathroom. Hey, You've seen that. Oh yeah, seen uh, it. Got yeah. to use it. Yeah. yeah, we actually got lucky they, too. They locked the women's. They changed the code, locking the bathroom. I guess 20 minutes ago. And so we happened to have someone who was in the bathroom. She kept the bathroom open, and we essentially left the door open so people can use the restroom. Yeah, I would have an accident if I didn't get to use it right now. I would have time to go wherever I needed to be to get the code to open. I would have an accident. Why have been letting right us pee? This is not okay. Go ahead. I mean, you, you can go pee, but it's because we're keeping the bathroom you open. Want to. Or you would have to go track down a code ordinary to use it. So you left it open so you can use it without having to look for a code. It's kind of a protest, so feel free to go use it. But, like, why aren't they letting, like, you guys use the bathroom? Because if you're not doing something in this building, it's not open to everybody. So if you were just, like, outside playing or walking by and you had to use the bathroom and you thought, hey, there's a community building right there, I can go to the bathroom. No, they won't let you. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, I know, they do... Yeah, they really want to get rid of homeless people. Hey, I'm getting off the table. But they have a bathroom. Yeah, no matter where it is. But we have it open right now. So if you guys need to use the bathroom right now, it's open. We've liberated this bathroom for use for the public for at least right now. And if you could spread the word that this is happening in our city. Okay, I need it. Yeah, they told me go. now if I wanted to go play basketball, they wouldn't let me use the basketball. Mm -hmm. Even if I go to play basketball. They told me I couldn't use the basketball if I went to play basketball. Can you say that again, Logan? That's I, an oh, issue for little girls. What if little girls had their monthly thing going on or something? You can't be walking all the way home like that. You need to go use the restroom. Yes. Well, you're probably playing right? the wrong color of people. Thank I mean, there's, there's a lot of reasons, but I mean, there's emergency things that pop into my mind about like, you can't make it to the next location type thing. Yes, for anybody. Right. And pretty much every single person has gone through that at least once in their life. Right? right? I've been sick before with I don't think uh, the flu and stomach things where I was throwing up and one. number twing myself at the same time. Okay. Like, right. no, no, nothing nice. yes. like, you need a bathroom right away. <laughs> yes. No time to go looking. And when you walk, it makes it worse. I've been, yes. um, every yeah. single pregnancy, yes. I had that very bad morning sickness where I was throwing up like all the time. I need to be near a bathroom and also available to get water so I didn't dehydrate like right. all the time when I was pregnant. And for the mom and the baby. Yeah. My grandma. My grandma needs to use the bathroom. She lives in Iowa, but if she were here, this would be a big thing. She has an incontinence issue. When we were in Walmart, she had an accident and urine was all down her leg. If there had been no bathroom or anything there, or she had to go to like someplace really far away for the next bathroom, that would have been devastating. She would have had to walk around like that. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of reasons that come to mind why bathrooms need to be open, and it's sad that I actually have to even explain this. You think when they made the Constitution, they had to think about, well, you think we need to keep bathrooms open for people? <laughs> I wish they had. I know. It's just a control thing, I think. It's just oh, people, absolutely. They can control it or have a say over something to make them feel of authority. Right. It's crazy. You want to be controlled over a toilet? But, well, you, 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 have to, you have to make the, the, uh, the environment safe for the public. Well, isn't it, wouldn't it be safe for the public to let people use the restroom? I the think that's a good but, but the, but the, have the restrooms too. Right. Well, that's it's a play on words, right? Because who is the public? We no. Not have, right. And not having bodily waste all over your city because the bathrooms are closed. Exactly. That is for the public. That's a health and safety issue for the yeah, whole entire right. community. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the big issue, the spread of disease and all the things that can happen when you don't have available public restrooms is what we really should be focused on. Running right. water. Not how we can cut out a certain population from using the restroom. Right. We need to focus on what's important here. 
And what does everybody have to get a card saying they're a part of this community? <laughs> and one act, I mean, I'm, I'm really I'm sorry, sorry if something happened to the bathroom here. The that's bathroom. very unfortunate. Oh, Things happen all over the place that we don't want to happen. But one act of vandalism shouldn't be used to punish the whole community right in a long-term basis like we need to you know okay the bathroom was was damaged and now it's fixed and now it's open again please don't vandalize it you don't permanently close it to the whole community right do you know how long the bathrooms have been closed uh, uh steve do you know how long uh, when it was first vandalized and closed how long oh, wasn't it ago? november it's been like years right well we got our email uh, production because we asked Robert, in fact, asked for like the hundreds of different emails. Robert, Robert, do you recall when uh, it dates back to the reports of vandalism we found in the emails? The dates? How long has it been closed? It was, I think November is the right month, but I can't remember whether it was 20. It was 2017. I think 2017 is right. Yeah. Wow. So it's been closed for two right. years, over no, two years? A year and a half. Back to back to back to back to but they didn't close them because of the vandalism. They closed them, I think, because of the arrival of homeless people in Laurel Park after the mm -hmm. San Lorenzo well, the Park. Right. Well, wasn't that the same time that they uh, also put a fence up? Right. A little earlier, but yeah, yeah I think about the time it was finished. Or, you know, wasn't the long. sign on the door says due to illegal activity. Wow. Yeah. And what, the legal activity is people that didn't have any business here coming in? Well, it's not even bird bats. It just says due to illegal activity, the bathroom is now closed to the public. Wow. So it's not even specific. And but, we actually looked at hundreds of emails. They sent it back and forth between those efforts and the resident manager here and the city council other folks. And we couldn't find anything but anecdotal references to, you know, well, there was some feces smear on the wall, or we found a needle, or we found something that indicated some unacceptable behavior. But nothing could have been somebody with nothing you could interpret. Yeah. Just nothing you can interpret as, as a pattern. Right. So there's a pattern of behavior here, and in response to that, we're going to restrict access to the bathroom. So we can't if we would have seen that, that. if there was like a major act of vandalism or something no. that caused this. There was no indication. This looks like straight up. Discrimination no to me. The city council. Most of the vandalism happened after they put the big gate and fence around. And that's right about the same time the ACLU decided that they were going to remove their monthly meetings from Loud Nelson and take them over to the RCMP in protest of that and the fact that Loud Nelson Center was just becoming increasingly homeless unfriendly. Right, and this is a community center, yeah. right? Yeah. So we, we, we've, been, we've been gone for probably a year. Having you probably shouldn't change the name if they're going to keep it. I think there. they've taken <laughs> community out of the Loudon exactly. Nelson Center, and maybe we should demand that that word be removed. Right. Unless we're going to get more community oriented. Right. That's an unfair use of the word community. So it says community means for people, right? For, for everyone, everyone, for the community. For community. community. Right. Not yeah, for your customers. Well, if, if right Starbucks... kind of community, for goodness sake. Not for there the rich you community. Hey, you right now. Well, if Starbucks has to do it, the city should have to do it. Or if they can be... Allow, allow anybody, everybody access to a bathroom. They are in well, CVS has done it now. CVS, after a long statement and talk with the manager, they have liberated their bathroom on their own without a lawsuit or any really? protest. Wow. A simple conversation, an explanation, and they have opened the bathroom. So it's not too late. It can be done. And Walgreens... It doesn't have to be terrible. Walgreens downtown has had the bathroom open for quite a while, and their bathrooms are decent. Yeah. And there's no code. Yeah, I haven't heard since CVS opened the bathrooms, what would you say, Angel, a couple of months ago, right? I we made that phone get call. My medication. Yeah. And I have not heard an act of vandalism, nor have they had to close their bathrooms since opening it because something bad has happened. So the bathrooms can be open in a successful way. The acts of vandalism on the bathrooms here, I think, are actually fairly low and being perpetrated to be, you know, large and an issue just to keep the bathrooms closed. It's ridiculous. Really what it is, it's an attack on, on homeless people. Uh, in my opinion. It's part of the war on the poor. Yeah. Barely yeah. bail. Yeah, yeah, war, war on the poor. Barely bail. No it's war one is tentacle of the war on the poor. No war is winnable. 
And stop punishing everyone for what some individuals do, make solutions and provide jobs. You know, I had to do, I did an um, a interview with Phil Gomez for KSBW mm. this morning about what Michael Sweat's arrest means for our lawsuit and for like the homeless population, and I had to tell him, you know, I see that the media is trying to make this about the homeless and about the Ross camp, and every time something happens with this particular person, you're always mentioning that he was part of that. But what you also need to know is that those are his personal problems. That doesn't represent the problems of the whole entire homeless community. You need to stop using that as like a narrative right. to try to say like this is the barrier for the homeless community is what's happening with Michael Sweat. That has, you know, that's his personal thing. And there are so many different barriers that need to be addressed that I, I need for that to stop being used in that way. Every time I do an interview with him, he uses about, you know, a small smidge of exactly. what I actually said to him. Well, in a Phil Gomez. Well, and also they've gotten into the thing where they were slanting and saying that when there was criminal activity in, in even different communities, they would say they'd have to add in that it was a homeless person. Yeah. Right. You know, but if it was if it was somebody that was living in a house, a guy that lives in a mansion was selling heroin. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's all these other incidents. They don't make it a point to right. announce that. A right. guy on West Cliff, you know, giant mm -hmm. house did this and that. Yeah. And they're certainly not announcing the fact that the people who have the superiority complexes in this town are like totally misdirected. You know, I was reading that Joe Netro, one of the guys who likes to publicize a lot of bad stuff about the homeless, go around and take pictures and complain about how this and that's ruining his town. Big you Joe know 77. that in 1994 he bought his house, yeah, Big Joe, for $198,000. And I read that it's worth almost a million now. It's appreciated seven hundred and seventy-seven like thousand dollars. Right, and he's wild. and he's had to do nothing but sit there on his fat duff and let that happen. And now he thinks he's better than everybody else who wasn't given that opportunity. I'm sorry that in 1994 I didn't have the ability. I'm not, you know, I'm not even of that age at that time to have bought a house for one hundred ninety-eight thousand dollars that's now worth a million. Right. Lucky him. But instead of being grateful and humble, he's hateful. Right. That's terrible. That's what's ruining this community. Yeah. Are you are you waving goodbye? Yeah, I'm calling. I'm calling it quits. Well, not not a single the, person has tried to use the bathroom from down here. Well, we we they, had a group yeah, of girls had, come by. No, I know too. So, yeah, too. They've been right. well trained. That bathroom is locked. We have the bathroom no, here. No, but nobody's even tried because I was standing there hoping that if somebody got in, I would then open keep the door open. Where did Aslan go? Aslan. I don't think they're going to let people. Sure, yeah, yeah. The problems are not letting people. Okay, thank you guys. Aslan. Thanks, Phil. See you on Thank you. Yeah. Right? Give them motivation. I see you. I'm going to get the red church tonight. If I can make uh, it, I'm not like Oh, that's one. Come around. So, yes. What are you quitting to? Just because oh, Phil quits? To all of you out there, <laughs> open your bathroom. You're letting open your hearts. <laughs> open your mind. Right. Twenty-four hour bathrooms and showers throughout the city. Yeah. yeah. Gloria. Just make more jobs. Part of your campaign. Hey, you want to talk to Robert? Oh, I'm not you can be here as long. Yeah, yeah, right. I would refuse to have a meeting and pay for anything, even. If it was free at a place that didn't open bathrooms to everyone. Yeah, well, that's we kind of felt that ourselves, even though it wasn't free for us. But we were successful in keeping the bathroom open. Yes, indeed. Uh, both for men and women, because we said we invited men in since women were. And we should leave it You know, the men's bathroom is locked. Of course. And the little lady. So we're deciding now what to do. Um, any suggestions on what should be done for the next quick 20 minutes? The hour was able to go to the bathroom. Yay! <coughs> uh, it looks like uh, huh. energy may be low. Alicia, do you have any thoughts with your discrimination stink sign? I think I said um, everything that counts, really. I think everyone has got my point. Angel? I'm actually hungry. I need to get some food, but then I might, I might have to use the bathroom after. <laughs> that could be a problem. So should you starve yourself? I don't know. Because you can't find a bathroom, or should you just go for it? Yeah, those are those are stressful you know, situations. Read, absolutely. What about you guys? You came all the way from Salinas to deal with this. Um, well. This, this is an epidemic. I mean, they, they closed down the Monterey Salinas Transit Center. There were like four or six bathrooms, and they closed all those Mommy. to promise one bathroom in another year. So, I mean, we're, we're, they we're definitely hard and hope to die. 
Oh, and there's so much money included. They're, they're even talking about, uh, you know, the self-washing ones are the only ones they want. One hundred and twenty-five dollars, one hundred twenty-five thousand. You've got to have a clean bathroom, sir. Well, actually, well, don't you want a portable? Oh, what? In Salinas, there was two bathrooms purchased and paid for, it, but the downtown community did not want them down there. So I said, put them in a community that does need them, that would be Chinatown or any other place. They're already paid for it, and they're going to be Are they going to place there, or are they not? No, because the downtown community doesn't want them there. Well, yeah, we don't want the wrong kind of people using them. So they have two full bathrooms purchased that's paid for, but the downtown community doesn't want them. So why not put them in a community that does need them and does want them? Yeah. I don't know, perhaps a, a Lions Club uh, community house somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Chinatown homeless community. No, Local clan. They're they're yeah. Sherwood Park, where homeless uh, camp is there, that they open the restroom to only when they feel like it, would be good, yeah. You know, I read but, hey, Right, or 10, ten, ten or 11 or later. Yeah. Uh, thank goodness we're already here. Yeah. I read Speak. a post earlier. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Speaking about the metric center, they said that in Salinas it was closed. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, Metro yeah. Center. Yeah. Um, I got a report on the street that that's what they're doing in our metric set, uh, center, Metro Center too, is that they're putting a sign up closed for cleaning, <laughs> but there's nobody in there cleaning. Oh, right, right. right. They, they do that off and on. They've been doing that off and on for about a year now, and they never keep it open as, as long as the door says it's supposed to stay up until 11 o'clock doesn't happen. This is Somewhere between 9.30 and 10, they, they go in and start cleaning the bathroom, put up the cables, people can't use it after that, and then it's closed till, you know, it's closed about 10 o'clock every night. The buses run till a quarter to 12, so all these people don't have an access to the bathroom. They need to have an outhouse if they're gonna close the inside part. And the security guard is there until the last bus leaves. So there's a security guard right there walking that area. The oh, bowel craziness. I know we hmm. made a joke earlier, but I actually did hear, uh, I got a Facebook post earlier that Pat Colby didn't go to Food Not Bombs because, you know, it would make her use the bathroom and they don't have regular access to a bathroom. So she didn't want to go and eat a bunch of vegan food and fruits and vegetables that would make her have to use the bathroom a lot. So I know we actually made a joke about it, but it's actually kind of a real thing. Yeah, roughage. Does anybody yeah. know what's happening with the planning? Does anybody know what's happening with the porta potties downtown? Supposedly open 24 hours or at least at night. Has anybody got any information on that? I heard they are locked at night, and that's yeah, was another report from the street that the porta potties that were supposed to be open 24 hours are locked. When did you hear that night. from whom? Um, I heard it from a, a homeless young man who actually was accosted uh, by people, um, locals that uh, attacked him. He said that, that they were uh, locked at night to the bathrooms. I heard it hearsay wise too. I think all the porta potties are locked. Everyone around town, there's one by CBS that's got a lock on it. I mean, we've got porta potties that would give the impression that we have bathrooms that we don't because they have locks yeah, and padlocks right. on them. Right. Well, like the one across from the Tabby Cat Cafe that's right near Locust Street and, you know, the tea house. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I want to say is really. It's well, what really, about that one? I'm sorry. They keep them locked a lot. Most of the time, they're locked. I mean, I come downtown all the time. I just want to say also, people who need to drink water are discouraged from drinking water right. because then they have to you pee. Right. And it's yeah. like, yeah. It, it, it leads to um, dehydration. dehydration. And it's it's really, it's not just an inconvenience. It's This is a health issue, a public health issue. And with all these you know people who hate the homeless and want to discriminate against the homeless and want to blame the homeless for everything in this city, you know, if they kept these bathrooms open, I'm absolutely certain that we would see a drop in uh, the the messiness, the, the uh, sanitary issues that they claim. But also the health of the poor people is really important here. And need I say that Drew Glover is one of the only really strong people on city council leading the fight for the poor in the city. And that is why he's being targeted. So please, don't sign the petition for the recall. The grounds for the recall are completely spurious and unjust, and you know it's a misuse of the recall process. Support your duly elected officials. Don't sign the recall. Recall is doo doo. Is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> recall is doo doo. Right. Steve Plage, any comments on this? 
No, I, this is a terrific uh, action. Uh, thanks everybody for being here and really caring about this issue. We see a lot of homeless folks here, which is refreshing. Uh, those of us who are housed, we do our, what we can to support homeless people, but in Santa Cruz it's really taken hold as a homeless-led uh, crusade to, for human dignity, for human rights, for civil liberties. And uh, those of us who are housed and in support appreciate that. Yes. And of course, everyone will be coming to the Conscience in Action meeting on Wednesday at 11. Yes. No one misses it. What's the West place White. to be? Thank we will be coming Steve. over from Salinas. Yeah. Yeah. We'll Anthony Prince will be flying in from Berkeley. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you Thank go. you, everyone. Thanks, yeah. Wes. Thank you, everyone. Lion, Lion, yeah. Dread, Aslan. And thank you for thank supporting you, the unhoused community. Absolutely. We yeah. appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. We yeah. need support. Thank you, Gloria. Steve's been doing it a long time. Robert's been doing it a long time. <laughs> We always appreciate it. The lions it. were doing it a while, a lot too. Uh, Off and on, yeah. Trying to get some food. When I come out of the woods, at least we've been doing a long time. We didn't learn here, but very powerful. And strong. I kind of knew. Yeah, but, but another I don't know if I did. I encourage people we'll to make up for that. pass on the code. Get the, get the code to these bathrooms and pass it on whenever you can to other people. And we may, you know, cook up another action if we can think of something equally. Interesting, theatrical, uh, which draws people. It's kind of hard to draw people here. Mm -hmm. This is an isolated space. It's slightly air conditioned, though. It is yeah. air conditioned. <laughs> it's true. I don't know. Well, we had thought uh, that this would be the appropriate place to do this, and I think it is, but we also discussed in the Conscious of Action meeting the possibility of doing something downtown where there's more visibility. Unfortunately, it gets swallowed up by so many things that happen downtown. So I think we could make a place for it downtown and really draw some attention to it, depending on what kind of uh, action we planned and, and really how dramatic it would be and how attention gathering it would be. And that's important. So maybe we should rethink our ideas yeah. about doing something in a more yeah. public place. Maybe we should Definitely, because this is not something that's, this is not an issue that's going to just go away, obviously. No, we all yeah. have to use the bathroom. Yeah. So as a community, we're going to have to figure this out and keep this light up. Wherever it is, you know, we should definitely work on that. Okay, who's got the energy to walk down the mall with the signs right now? <laughs> no, I have to go home and finish I'm cleaning ready, my man. bathroom. I'm really serious. Thank you, Elise. You I, I, I nice think to see that we you should do the Metro Bye, Center, everybody. and I do believe we should do Okay, the next time we got to do a march down the mall. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. We'll and organize, we'll organize. start getting have. people together. Yeah. That they serve, and then no place to wash your New Leaf. Oh, New Leaf. Hey, I, I was just curious. Uh, I was just curious about um, since the bars went up and, and they, they closed the bathrooms to the general public. <clears throat> has their has their attendance and, and rental rates gone up or down? Uh, you know, people that, that used to play in the park are they no longer feeling welcome? You know, has the attendance gone up or down? since the bars and, and the no bathrooms. Good question. I don't know. Uh, uh, that would be the kind of thing which our staff would no doubt hustle to get information on in three or four years. Exactly right. <laughs> And so, then do 10 studies, ordering more studies. <laughs> hey, we'll, 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 we'll appoint a commission. <laughs> I was like, give up sometimes. Right? Yeah, when, when, when are we doing the Wealth really, Commission? I'm like, are you kidding me? Wealth sometimes commission. I just want to like... Wealth Commission. Oh, that's, that's our commission. Yeah, study all, facial expressions. All the conditions of when and why you have to go to the bathroom. I'm going to get two volunteers to help me carry signs back to my car. Yeah. 